Hello, welcome to this introductory note on design and analysis of algorithms named the foundations one. Uh, in this discussion, uh, we will be going through the definition of algorithm, the origin of algorithm and how important to learn the algorithms. Okay, And this discussion or this uh, explanation will be helpful to computer science students, engineering students or anybody who want to go through the fundamentals of algorithms. Okay, uh, The name algorithm has said to have taken its birth from algorithms. It is due to Muhammad Musa al Khwarizmi, formerly Latinized as Algorithmi, was a Persian polymath who produced vastly influential works in mathematics, astronomy, and geography around 830 AD. Okay, mm, he is the person. Algorithm is a term used generally uh, in computer science to connote problem solving methods. And study on algorithms is a cornerstone in computer science, information science, computer applications, diploma in computer science and information science and MSc. Anybody who would want to study algorithms, algorithm has been made as a core subject in almost all branches of uh, branches of computer science and related related disciplines. And the study of algorithms is called algorithmics. Algorithms are written by engineers as well, affiliated to other branches. Okay, They call it as procedure for design. Anyway, they don't call it as an algorithm because an algorithm is an alien word to them. They use instead the procedure for design. The problem that they are going to solve is a design problem. For example, civil engineer will design beams, columns and slabs and many other components of a structure. Okay. When they start the design, the, the very first step is very first step is assuming the dimensions of cross-sectional dimensions of the uh, component that they are contemplating to design the cross-section cross-sectional dimensions of a column, cross-sectional dimensions of a column and if a slab and they will proceed further in a step-by-step -step manner along with the codal provisions of that particular country in which they are designing and finally they will prove that the assumed dimensions are adequate enough to to resist to bear the loads if at all if at all it is not adequate when they find it to be inadequate they redesign it they redesign it by increasing slightly the dimensions that, that they assumed in the beginning okay and anyway for civil engineers it the design procedure is iterative in nature and in the same token mechanical engineers will design machine parts by by considering all possible dynamic loads and fatigue effects okay etc etc and they will design each and every component uh, in order to arrive at a complete design of a machine machine uh, through machine components okay and chemical engineers do design plant de plant designs chemical plant designs and they will design boilers okay and they don't call it as an algorithm once again they call it as a design procedure and electrical and electronic engineers it is well known that they will design circuits circuitry but okay there are compelling reasons for the people affiliated to computer science information science computer applications etc with the advent of computers okay there are several reasons okay to justify uh, justify as to why the algorithms has been a core subject for them okay uh, uh, the first reason could be they should be informed about some important and classical algorithms that that are existent from time immemorial they should be knowledgeable about them uh, and it is also to empower an individual from this stream with the problem solving capability right and it is also to develop the capability to design new algorithms and to determine their efficiency given a problem that they would have not seen earlier okay and algorithm development is the starting point for writing computer programs of course all the algorithms anyway are destined to become programs computer programs study of algorithms improves analytical capability of a learner or an individual because algorithms are are based on uh, fundamental mathematics 
okay and uh, and it is very interesting to learn that most of the algorithms most of the algorithms are designed by mathematicians mathematicians okay a study of algorithms already developed by people across the globe to solve certain standard sets of problems uh, this will certainly provide a clue for designing algorithms for new unseen problems okay there have been several algorithms already well written say for sorting problems searching problems okay graph problems okay there are there are multitudes of algorithms already existent okay it is being developed by people of your okay and uh, coming coming uh, becoming knowledgeable about this algorithms will take a long way long way in designing algorithms for new unseen problems okay and we will go through the definitions of algorithms okay uh, the there are at least more than one dozen uh, half a dozen definitions uh, which are completely different from each other and it is context specific the definition of algorithm is more or less context specific this is the first definition that i found in the literature algorithms can be defined as blueprint for solving a problem what is this blueprint all about blueprint generating machine this is a blueprint generation generating machine this will be used by civil engineers okay they will they will draw out the plans that is being drawn by them and it will come out in the form of a blueprint something like this and once this comes as a blueprint it will be submitted to town town authority or or municipal authority or corporation authorities only to be approved and this blueprint will be set to go for building construction okay a blueprint is a ready document okay for further construction process okay and it is a road map for solving a problem okay we will write method methodolic methodologically okay methodically uh, the problem solving procedure and we call it as an algorithm okay anyway it's a it's a problem solving uh, road map so it goes like this and uh, some kind of a road like thing we, have, we will defining the problem we will do defining definition of the problem we will define the problem first then we will discover the possible solutions then we will develop the algorithm then we will demonstrate uh, that the algorithm that we designed will really work will really give the solution it is also defined as algorithm is also defined as as i told you told earlier is a step by step procedure for solving a problem this is particularly this definition uh, holds good for mechanical engineers civil engineers and electronics electrical engineers okay uh, for a typical civil engineer the design procedure will some will go something like this okay the type of mesh type of thickness of the slab everything they will assume and they will with the codal provision and with the with their heuristic knowledge they will be able to develop uh, the design of a component okay they will write it in a step by step manner okay it is a set of instructions written in natural language okay if q equal to 0 return p as uh, okay, greatest common divisor and stop otherwise go to step 2 step 2 being find the remainder as by dividing p by q step 3 is assign q to p and s to q go to step 1 okay this is how um, an algorithm is written okay and this is typical algorithm will come in uh, natural language okay it is the way we talk the way we talk uh, it is a well defined computational procedure comprising a sequence of step for solving a particular problem this is another yet another definition okay and here are the steps algorithm sum average read x comma y comma z sum is equal to x plus y plus z average is equal to sum by 3.0 and print sum and average this looks like sum first of all we have to read the inputs then we have to sum it up then we have to take their average then we have to print okay and it is a procedure for solving a problem which is ready to be converted into a program using some high level language so all algorithms are destined to become a program and this particular process has been taken here to define the algorithm itself it is a procedure which is pre written pre written okay so much so that it will be able to it will be converted into it will be ready for converted for being converted into a program using some high level language okay algorithm average some example is given over here okay and this is how the program is written of course there are some syntactical mistakes but anyway uh, you never mean on this okay let us not be very particular about this and this is how program is written right uh, there is a syntax mistake over here this should have been smaller okay 
happening. It's a computational procedure that transforms inputs into outputs. Okay, you will give some kind of inputs, and when full algorithm works, the outputs will be something different. Okay, uh, therefore, and you will give two inputs. You will you will print out, you will just print out the uh, greatest common divisor. You will give two positive numbers. You will you will just uh, you will just print out. You will just take out the answer to be uh, let us say LCM, right? Okay, least common multiplier. Okay, something like that. Okay, the inputs are different, outputs are different. Therefore, algorithm, as far as this definition is concerned, algorithm has been taken as a mapping function. Okay, it maps inputs to outputs. And but an apt and a complete definition of an algorithm is it is a sequence of unambiguous instructions for solving a problem that is for obtaining a legitimate output for any legitimate input in a finite amount of time okay it is a sequence of unambiguous there should not be any ambiguity there should not be any uncertainty there should not be any uh, vagueness in instructions okay and uh, it should be the output should be legitimate it should correspond to legitimate inputs okay legitimate the concern the related okay a proper input proper output and an algorithm cannot run for finite infinite amount of time it has to run for finite amount of time. okay but a very important point to note is an algorithm itself is not a solution for a problem it is only a problem solving procedure okay following are some of the points about an algorithm okay this we have to remember clearly an algorithm is a notion because algorithm will always be brought up in a, in the mental frame okay it will develop in the mental frame algorithm all algorithms will take its birth in a mental frame of a intellect the algorithmist okay and any algorithm cannot be any and every algorithm cannot be directly executed because they run in running uh, run in natural language sentences they may be pseudo codes but anyway they cannot be directly run into uh, in a system to produce the outputs therefore algorithm is a notion there is notional component in every algorithm okay it is how our mind goes while solving the problem right non ambiguity is the major requirement of an algorithm that means the problem should be uh, unambiguous the input should be unambiguous okay the output should also be unambiguous they should be legitimate instead okay that means as an example you cannot write an algorithm to uh, to lead a happy life you cannot write an algorithm to prepare strong coffee here happy life and strong coffee are the ambiguities involved with the inputs or outputs okay uh, the range of inputs is to be specified very carefully because it is said it is said any algorithm is going to crash if you try to give a value which is less than the lower bound of the input or which is it is more than the higher bound of the out uh, this higher bound it is more than the value of the higher bound okay algorithm is going to crash therefore it is imperative that the inputs for an algorithm should be specified very carefully so that every input that is chosen will fall in the possible bounds of that particular input okay the same algorithm can be represented in different ways you have a method of representing an algorithm through flow charts you have algorithm to uh, algorithm to be represented by means of uh, algorithm and it may be a pseudo code okay and it could be something like a partial program also of course uh, which which may not be language centric but anyway it will uh, it will consist of several language constructs okay several algorithms may exist for solving the same problem okay for example if you if you take if you treat sorting as the problem you have you will find more than one dozen algorithms okay quick sort see quick sort selection sort okay merge sort okay uh, or bubble sort uh, ra uh, okay like this okay you will find several algorithms even for sorting itself okay sorting is also a problem okay people have written many algorithms uh, claiming okay all the algorithms will claim superiority about the other algorithms in terms of their running time in terms of their efficiency algorithms for the same problem may be based on very different ideas okay you may you know, while designing an algorithm you can be you can be choosing 
from many of the strategies it could be a brute force method right away by going through the definition of the problem you will just set forth to write the algorithm or it could be divide and conquer divide and conquer strategy decrease and conquer strategy transform and conquer strategy okay uh, okay trading of space against time or trading of time against space it may be dynamic programming style okay there are several several strategies one could choose okay in order to in order to design an algorithm that is the meaning of that sentence and we will follow in foundation 2 the uh, the advanced portions of this fundamentals and for here we will uh, say back and goodbye goodbye